Do you want to know what the worst beach in all of Southwest Florida is? You're about ready to find out. This area is full of amazing beaches. One of them has to be the worst. Jump in crystal blue with us as we take you to go see the worst beach in Southwest Florida. What's up castaways, Ryan and Crystal here. Uh, today, we are leaving Salty Sands Marina on Fort Myers Beach. We are taking you to the worst beach in Southwest Florida. I grew up in this area, so back in the day, we used to call this beach the fake beach, or I called it the fake beach. But there are a few little gems that are in this area that we're going to today that we're gonna take you on. Um, so stay tuned. Here we go. This is the infamous Miserable Mile here on the uh, Caloosahatchee River in Southwest Florida. We typically don't take uh, Crystal Blue up this way. We uh, stick towards the barrier islands and beaches on the coastline. But uh, to get you to the worst beach in Southwest Florida, you do have to venture through the Miserable Mile. At least you do if you're coming from Fort Myers Beach and uh, up the Caloosahatchee River just a ways. So Ryan's not a huge fan of this beach. I've never been a huge fan of this beach. Um, it's on the Caloosahatchee River, so you're never gonna have nice clear blue water or anything like that. It's always gonna be like this brackish brown color, like tea, basically. So it's not, it's a man-made beach, it's a beach. <laughs> you know, you fake got some beach. sand and you got water, it's fake beach, but you know, locals who live in Cape Coral love it and the visitors love it. They are doing a lot of repairs because of um, Hurricane. Hurricane Ian took out the pier here, which fun fact, in high school, that's where my dates would happen, is on the pier at uh, the Cape Coral Yacht Club Pier. <laughs> But it's the worst beach in Southwest Florida. <laughs> and here is an aerial view of the Cape Coral Yacht Club Beach, the worst beach in Southwest Florida. If you knew what it looked like before Hurricane Ian, kind of like what Crystal was saying, um, you'll be able to see quite a bit of changes from this aerial view. All of the buildings that once were there have been uh, demolished and taken away and uh, paving the way for uh, bigger and better things, I guess. It's been almost two years now that Hurricane Ian came through and uh, hit Southwest Florida. You can still see a lot of the reminders around town and around Fort Myers Beach, Sandbell, and things like that. We are going to uh, dock up here at Boathouse Bar and Grill, a fantastic waterfront restaurant. And we're actually going to do a uh, video on the boathouse here coming up in a couple weeks, so stay tuned. But uh, here we are. Let's uh, go dock up and take a look at the worst beach on Southwest Florida firsthand.
Coral Yacht Club Beach. Here we are. Look at this beautiful place. You know, the palm trees do look good. Crystal's gonna pick up some trash she sees. Love it. <laughs> Gotta keep paradise beautiful, even if it is the worst beach in the area. <laughs> no, it's still, you know, a beach is a beach. It's still awesome. Sand is nice. A few people here. Just the water. Not the prettiest water I've ever seen. You're still in the sun. It's still a beach, sand. I guess. <laughs> sort of. Hey, Crystal, do you have any more fun facts about this somewhat okay beach? <laughs> um, again, it's another personal fun facts, but uh, over here used to be a building where they would people would have weddings. There used to be a pool, which I don't know if they're going to rebuild that or not, but we, I did have my project graduation here, which is like a party after you graduate to keep kids kind of safe after graduation. And uh, that's where we had it, was here at the Cape Coral Yacht Club. So, go Cape Coral Seahawks. <laughs> Love Crystal's fun facts. <laughs> Cape Coral Yacht Club Beach, not the best beach in the world. Uh, probably, you know, not to be negative, the worst beach in Southwest Florida, but <laughs> it does have uh, two things going for that it. That we love here. And that is the Boathouse Bar and Grill right behind us. We love our tiki bars. And for those animal lovers out there like me, there's Quaker parrots here. So if you hear little chirps in the trees, you'll see little green parrots and Quaker parrots are not native to Florida. They came here in the 60s through the pet trade. Ooh. And some have, you know, they escape and they create feral colonies. And now we have beautiful Quaker parrots that you can see here at the Cape Coral Yacht Club Beach. There so, are parrots here. Yeah. Like, that's pretty that's awesome. Cool. That's, that's pretty what awesome. I like to see when I come here. So two things going for this beach. 